Yo, what up? It's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Back up in it. So this is not a shoe, obviously. No. Oh, this is a that's basketball. A, that's a ball. <laughs> but something that's and very this important. this is not a shoe either. That is not a shoe. This is a backpack or a bag. And something that's very important to us is a nice bag. And you know like gym bags? I hate gym bags because, it, you know, it's either you have to carry it with by the hand or by one hand. So yeah. that's, that's kind of annoying, especially if you have a lot of stuff in it. And they have like one strap on, like you know that long yeah. big strap, and you just kind of like put it on your side, and you just like, yeah, like, you know, bags on the side. I don't like that. I like a regular ass backpack, you know, and you just put it on. You know, you're not like kind of like moving to the side, like messing up your back and stuff. You yeah. know, it's just like it's comfortable. You can carry a lot more weight, and it's more comfortable carrying a lot more weight and stuff. And this was designed for ball, basketball. So this is the Kaison or Kaison bag. Sorry, we don't really know how to pronounce it. But they sent it out and they wanted us to review it and see how it is. It's $97. Ooh, but this is a beta, so I'm not yeah. sure how that works. Maybe all the ones they're selling are betas. <clears throat> yes, right now. And yeah, they probably have 300 of them. This is one of 300. Uh, we each have one of 300, so yeah. collector's item, you know what I mean? Exactly. This, this is on eBay right after this. <laughs> Anyways, very interesting bag. We're stoked to see, you know, a basketball specific gym bag. This takes up a lot of space. A lot of space. You know what I'm saying? It takes up a lot of space in your bag. And um, you know, you put it inside your bag and you have like half, like this much room yeah. like, for your water and all that stuff. Or know? if you bring it separate, right? Mm -hmm. And you're hooping um, and you're not using your ball. So you set it on, you don't have room in your bag, you set it on top. Someone Some goofball will come pick it up yes. and either steal it or they start shooting around with it. Like dude. And then when they're done shooting around, maybe they didn't steal it, but they set it down and then someone else steals it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, dude, it's like, sucks. Like don't touch my ball though. Exactly. So, um, I'm gonna say right off the bat, this bag is not for me because personally, um, I, I, you know, we test a lot of shoes. But well, we are saying? far from the bag. norm. We're, yeah, we're not normal. Do we're not weird. bring you know as many shoes to the gym as we do. And, and of course, um, I like to carry around two balls because I like to do two ball drills and stuff. So um, this only carries one. So uh, obviously, that's a little problem there too. But I mean, if you have. The compartment for two balls. <laughs> yeah. Everyday hoopers though, yeah, exactly. you don't need more than this. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. Do, you know, no, you do fine. not need more than this. Yes. So, so uh, let's, let's kick it off at the bottom. Exactly. So the, it, on the bottom, all right, so this is what the bag looks like, right? You have a little sleeve here on the bottom, and this is where you put your ball. So you just put your ball in, you know, into the little sleeve. And uh, it's on the desk and it's a little awkward. Looks kind of weird. It does look kind of weird. Looks a little suspect when you're doing it. But it works. But it works. Yeah. And it's actually a great design. And having it on the bottom is cool. Um, it's just got the little draw cord you pull. Yes. Tighten it in and trap it in there. So one thing Donnie Boy was saying though, I mean you can tighten it, right? And there's really no problem because there's nothing that's going to pull this. Yeah. So in the ball. It, it so, stays in. Exactly. But it kind of, it's not, it's a, it, you know, this is me not pushing on the spring, you know, and just loosens up, you know, so. Uh, so over time, I don't know how that's going to be. Mm -hmm. This is a beta, and that's something that the uh, the maker should actually look into. Mm -hmm. it, it's pretty simple as just getting a better clip, mm -hmm. or stronger clip, something with more force. But it still, it's, it still works great, though. Yeah, dude, we didn't have any so, problems, but no problem. speculation. That's so dope, man. Just having a little a compartment for your ball is just so nice, you know? Yeah. Okay, so obviously you have, um, let's, just, let's start with the straps. So obviously the straps, you know, it's like a backpack. You do have a fence hook. So if you're playing like outdoor ball or something, you, you know, there's a fence, you can just hook this to the fence. You don't Super want your dope. stuff on the ground, you know? And it's a good, solid, sturdy hook. Yeah. Like a really quality build here. Yeah. Um, and on the very top too, you have this plastic um, hook strap that you can carry it like this if you wanted to. You didn't mm. want to hook it on your back. Or it's another way to hook it to something you yes. know, if you wanted to. Uh, of course, you have uh, a multiple like little pockets here on the strap. Uh, it, said, it says it's for your phone, one of them. <laughs> but definitely, if you have a Nokia, if you have a Nokia or a flip phone, it'll definitely fit. Yeah. But n it will not fit a regular phone in, no. uh, nowadays. You know, you can put like money in it or you know keys or something like that if you would like. But other than that, I, you know, other small things. Like AirPods, I don't know. Yeah, you could slip some AirPods in there. Yeah, but for sure. Other than that, like your phone is not gonna go. Your wallet's not gonna go no. in there. You know, uh, it's pretty small. Uh, also, it's kind of cool because you have like a little compartment for your ID. Like you can put your ID. I don't know, like school ID or something. School ID or um, you your real ID. I don't want my real ID <laughs> in there though. Uh, you can put your. It came with like a little card there. You can write your number on it and whatever you want. 
There's a little strap here, so you can, you know, yeah, a little cross chest strap. Yeah, yeah. That um, they do that in hiking bags, which is actually very key. Yeah. If you're going on long hikes, I mean, yeah. really, you're not gonna be wearing that bag like that, but it's a nice touch. Yeah. Uh, the it's a nice little mesh material on the strap. It's not the most padded, but it's pretty well padded, and mm -hmm. it's pretty comfortable. It's not like you know, like a really thin strap, and it's like you know, very uncomfortable. It feels pretty nice, you know. Um, as far as like uh, the actual bag goes, so. Okay, so we were looking at the site, and it's, they said this is where you put the shoe. You know, like we saw a picture of the guy putting shoes in this compartment. This, this, this does not work for Donnie Boy. He has size 14 feet, size 14 shoes, big ass feet, big ass shoes. Kind of doesn't really fit in here. So I mean, you can do it, but it's a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's too much. Obviously, mine size seven half easily fits in here if you would like. And it's a separate compartment, <clears throat> meaning that it's in encased in this uh, kind of a bag, you know what I mean? To keep it separate from your other stuff. Oh yeah, right, like right here, yeah. that, you know? So you don't want it to be with your other stuff. It's your shoes, it's dirty, right? So also there's some like little holes in here, which is kind of cool, you know, like some little ventilation holes. They yeah. Just, you know, poke some holes in, which is dope. You know, you don't want your shoes to marinate in there. Yeah, you can let it air out a little bit. So there's two zippers here, so one, two. And it lets you like really open up the flap and you have some velcro here. Uh, what do you think about this actual material though? Okay, so this actual material, I just realized this bag is waterproof. It is waterproof, right? So yeah. that's how, well, pretty much. I mean, this is Besides kind of ventilation. The whole thing. <laughs> it's ventilated, so I don't know how yeah. that works. But it's like a rubber, texturized rubber. I like it. I like it. Stove, and it's going to keep it, um, you know, a good amount of rain out of it. I, don't, I wouldn't say waterproof. For sure, there's there's perforated holes on it, but mm -hmm. as far as the top goes, it's fully covered. All these seams are sealed. It seems very durable. Super durable, yeah. and it's a nice build. You know, it is yeah. kind of pricey for a bat, for a gym bag. Yeah. But if you're really about it, about it, and you're trying to have a nice gym bag that's gonna last, mm -hmm. it seems like a quality build. If you have a wireless speaker, you know, like a, a what do you call it? Uh, what's a popular one? What are those called? Golly. I don't, I don't have any, so yeah. I don't know. I have one, but I forgot what it's called. Yeah. So there's a little compartment here inside this uh, this little uh, comp compartment within a compartment. I don't know. And there's holes here on the side, so like you can play, you can put your speaker in here, and you can play music if you would like. That's and nice it's still thing. in your bag. It's still in your bag. And people don't even know what's going exactly, on. Exactly. You know, so people can't steal it. You know. Um, and of course, you do have a uh, water bottle bag or water bottle holder here. And uh, you have, so Don, you, you use this. Yeah, I use shoes, this. Right? So what I do is I just put my, my shoes in um, vertically, yeah. right? And I can fit a pair in there for sure. Yeah. I mean, I could probably fit three shoes in there, but what am I gonna do with three shoes, right? <laughs> but um, Sam, like normal size shoes, you could probably put two pairs in there. Two to three, yeah. If you wanted to, so. And with my feet, I think three. Yeah. Um, but that's like really hard to do, you know? So two is good. And um, yeah, that's basically all, all you need. You yeah, know? and then I just use this compartment for my other stuff. And, and stuff. it's still separated. Yeah. You exactly. know, so you can use it either way. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would like to have, see in this bag is uh, more compartments. You know, mm -hmm. you know, like um, yeah, you know, it could use one little more, one more little, one extra compartment. Yeah. Just put like odds and ends, like some tape or yeah, you know, I don't know, like uh, uh, what do you call it? Like I, I keep a foam roller, like a really small foam roller okay, in my yeah. bag at all times because I need to stretch and stuff. It do, it really doesn't fit in here, you know. Yeah. So uh, maybe a slightly bigger bag or a bigger version, you know, because this yeah. is a nice little travel size. I love it, you know. If you if you're very basic with your needs, one ball, like one pair of shoes or whatever, your phone, your extra extra shirt, water, extra shirt, towel. exactly, that you're good to go. Me, I need a little bit more, um, and I would like a, maybe a bigger version or one more compartment or something like that. But this is a great little bag, I mean, specifically for us ball players, you know, for ballers. This is a nice little bag. What do you think? You like it? I like it. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually using it. He's, yeah, he's been using it. Like, yeah, because I, yeah. you know, well, right now I'm, I'm bringing some shoes in, but like mm -hmm. on days I'm not testing, you know, it's like a perfect little setup for me. Yeah. Because I like to just maybe bring one pair of shoes because my shoes are so huge, mm -hmm. right? And then, of course, a ball. And exactly. then a couple odds and ends, and it works. Exactly. So the only thing we would kind of change is like make it like like I said bigger and stuff like that, and maybe just and fix that yeah that clip on the bottom. But that's about it, dude. I mean, you know, uh, good job to Kason and Kaison for you know making this bag. They sent it out, but you know we're giving our honest review. Yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, that's that's it. Again, if you guys want to get it, we'll leave a link in the description box. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Later. Thanks.